Hello everyone, Emily here. I am working on my my mitten and this is the hole for the finger. So this is the top where your fingers come out. So it goes really high and I did two knit, two crochet here. I love that ribbing. And then I changed the stitch and I just did knitting down. I am going to go ahead and change and I'm just going to do knit, purl, knit, purl. So it will be a little bit different from here because this is two knit, two purl. I really love this feeling. It's nice and long. So we'll go from the hand here. So we'll go down um, to about right here. And then the rest of it will be up the arm. And uh, this is for my granddaughter because I know she'll really enjoy it. I'm only making one because she does like to just wear one on one arm. So I am using my sock yarn. And um, they did have this sock yarn at sale at Michael's for $1.99 a screen, skein. excuse me. And I got a few, but they are not on sale anymore. So I'm really sad about that. They like discontinued it. So I have these seven inch round little knitting needles. The ends are bamboo and I uh, purchased them at Michael's. No, at Joann's. I got the knitting needles at Joann's and I got the yarn at Michael's. Here in Ankeny, Iowa, they're like really close to, you can walk from one to the other if you wanted to. So you can see I'm just doing a regular knit. And I just wrap the yarn around the back and bring it through and take it off. So this is knitting. Now I'm going to start doing my knit purl. So I'm going to go ahead and do my purl, which you come underneath the front. You wrap it around and you take it off. And then I take my yarn, put it in the back. Go to the next stitch, and this is knitting. I'm going to bring my yarn to the front, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a purl. Now this only works repetitious all the way around if you have even numbers. If I had odd numbers, I would have a problem. Because then I'd have two stitches next to each other, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to make sure that I do knit purl and you can see here the purl has a little thing in the front and the knits do not. So when I start coming around here I'll be able to tell which is the knit and purl. And when your yarn is in the front you know that this one is a purl so I know I need to take my yarn to the back to do a knit. And all my fingers are clear except for this one. My granddaughter came over and painted my nails. Oh my gosh, probably about a month ago. But she's, she stayed here a lot during the summer. Like she was here for a week and went home for a day or two and then came back. And so she, we were really enjoying her having her hear me and my son, his niece. And uh, she painted my nails and now she had to go home because today is her first day of school and uh, I've been not taking the fingernail polish off and just letting it wear off because I miss her and every time I see the fingernail polish I remember her painting my nails. My little Kaylee is just the smartest little thing on the planet. So this nail will be red in all my videos until it wears off. So little red on my nail means something to me. So I'm just going to keep doing this all the way around and I'm going to make it as long as I want this uh, part to be. I want it to be fairly long because I want it to be able to hold this uh, tight to my granddaughter Amy. She is uh, 12 on her arm and uh, she can wear it in the winter under her coat. She can wear it at school. Keep her little hand warm. I'm assuming she'll wear a different kind of glove on the other side. Like, I believe that socks were made to be worn 
mismatched. That's what I think. So why not mismatch your your uh, gloves? So I'm just going to keep on going. And I just wanted to show you what I was working on today. Because I love this sock yarn. And you don't have to just make socks. You can make anything with these. These would be really cute leggings. But I really like this yarn. I like the way that it stretches. And when you have a circle, you just want to keep moving your, your yarn around so it does so it's easy to get this yarn to go to the next stitch. So my yarn is in the back. So I know I need to bring it to the front to do a purl for that next stitch. And I'm not perfect. So if I messed up, because uh, if you've watched my channel before, I don't know how to talk in uh, crochet at the same, or knit at the same time. <laughs> I try my best. So if you see that I mess up on something, sometimes I go back to watch something. I'm like, oh my gosh, I missed a stitch. Or I didn't do a chain or something. I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, that will be the one thing everybody notices. But you know, life isn't perfect, and I am not either, so... Hope you enjoy this. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. And then when I get this done, I am going to put some pictures on here of my finished project. So you guys have a great day. Stay safe and I will be back soon. Bye.